It's part of a growing trend combining food with fun. What better way, thanks, than to enjoy gourmet cuisine at a bowling alley. In fact, I'm here at the Mission Bowling Club with proprietress Summer Peterson. Hey, Summer, this is your baby, isn't it? It is my big baby. She was barely a baby when her mom bowled in a league. Her 87-year-old grandpa still bowls. Mission Bowling Club is a labor of love. I really wanted to capture the feeling that you get when you're bowling, the whole experience. But what was lacking for me in my experience was the quality of the food and drink and just kind of the environment. I love how it feels to go bowling with your friends, with your family, have a day, just be ridiculous with your friends, do your thing, but why does everything else have to be compromised? So I wanted to do it my style, San Francisco style, comfortable, cozy, inviting, and quality. Here we are. We're back in the tiny kitchen manned by Chef Anthony Mint of foodie faves like Commonwealth and Mission Chinese food. How would you define your cuisine? Um, Right now it's actually kind of along the lines of technique driven junk food and, and also some elements of fine dining. Chef, your masterpiece is here and on Bone China no less. Oh, yeah. As you said, that's how we roll. Of course, this is what you see every day at a bowling alley, right? Right. Like this tender blackened salmon or crispy vodka marinated chicken and creme brulee cinnamon toast and vanilla ice cream. Chef, I'm bowled over, honestly. Signature drink, TBD, to be determined. My top picks, the salmon, chicken, and mezcal-like drink called TBD. To find out more, go to our website at cron4.com. In San Francisco, Vicki Liliakis, Cron4 News.